Thank you, Sheikha, for the great introduction. Uh, it's really a great pleasure to, to be with you today uh, as we're going to talk about uh, the role of youth in uh, creating positive change uh, through innovation and leading the green recovery and shaping UAE's next 50 years. Uh, we are lucky to have with us today two great examples of youth uh, you know, investing into, into innovation and doing really cool things. We have Fatma and Mohammed. We can start from uh, maybe sharing uh, 30 seconds of uh, what you're up to these days, what you're doing, so that the audience get to know you a little bit better. Fatma? Hello, this is uh, Fatma Musawi, the founder of Higana Daras and Think Science Ambassador and an environmental researcher. Awesome. And Mohammed? Hi, my name is Mohammed Al Shamsi. I am the founder of Robo High Tech. And I known as a robotics guy in UAE. Uh, I work in many building robots and trying to support the community in robotics in UAE. That's amazing. Uh, so let's let's uh, let's uh, uh, start the conversation. Um, uh, and uh, you you both represent youth. So uh, from your perspective, what does it mean to develop entrepreneurial capability? in youth, in, in our youth. So how do you see it uh, from your perspective as, as, as young representative of, of our region? So uh, what it means to become an entrepreneur at your age? Uh, maybe Fatma, you want to start first? Let's start. So uh, in my opinion, enhancing and balancing between knowledge and skills, it, it is uh, the way or the first step to start the life of entrepreneur. So when we balance between knowledge and skills, we can reach out to this. Uh, and actually youth at this young age can acquire a lot of knowledge and have that passion to start anything. So it's, be it's better and best to start uh, these skills at a young age. Awesome. Mohammed, uh, from your point of view, uh, when, 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 as Fatma is talking about skills, what skills do you think are relevant for uh, at a young age to, to focus on or to develop in order to be more entrepreneurial in what youth is doing? Well, uh, skills is uh, the, key, the key point. You know? uh, each, uh, now, if, we need, if you have uh, skills, you can do many things with it. So, for example, in robotics, you need to have uh, programming skills, you need to have uh, mechanical skills, you need to know, have uh, electronic skills. So if you, if you are an entrepreneur, you have to have to find first your skills. And from that, you, know, you can create your own business and you can find a new business model where you can have, for example, you can, you can create a new models and you can create a new business, which I think that will support the economy of the country. Awesome. And, and specifically when it comes to uh, environment, uh, Fatma, you mentioned about uh, your focus on, on environment and green recovery. Uh, would you have any success story uh, to share uh, with the audience? Um, actually, when it comes to environment, we have a lot to say. And this, the pandemic that we were in and we are still in was a great uh, time to start and to do and complete also. So if you will think about environment from different aspects, we are facing different uh, problems in life as pollution, recycling, uh, waste. We have a lot of problems. So uh, a success, a little success story about me. Uh, actually, I'm an environmental science, I'm an environmental scientist. And at the same time, I'm the founder of the first Emirati brand for tea. So uh, what I did create in this pandemic is uh, a cycle which, need, which is under the name of tea waste which we generated waste into a power. We recycled waste and use it as a power. So no one thought about that ideas. But uh, as we are sitting now all in the home and we are, we are drinking tea in every household, we are drink drinking tea. So we took that tea and generated into a, um, a power. And the first thing that anyone can does in, in his home is transforming this tea waste into a natural compost for the plants. So this is a simple thing, but uh, we have a bigger project which, which we did uh, before, uh, which is uh, turning tea waste into a natural uh, uh, filter for water from the heavy metals. Uh, and we are working on this series to be a couple of projects by generating these tea wastes into a power instead of just leaving it into a waste only. That's amazing, especially at the time where there is more 
sensitivity on the topic of sustainability and environment as well. Uh, this is this is really inspiring what you are doing. Uh, and and Mohammed, on your side, uh, what, what's your story? What's your success story? Uh, uh, you mentioned uh, before when we were talking about uh, you know uh, you have been in countries that are more technologically advanced and inspired you doing something. So what's your story as an entrepreneur here? Well, here. Uh... I started as, uh, as uh, my general robotics when I participated in World Skills competition in Japan. Uh, there, I I compete with all teams around the world, and I have a, a, an idea that we cannot do much of in robotics. But after that competition, I learned now everything. If Japan Japanese people they can do build robots and do more robotics, we can do the same. When I came back from the competition, I continue. I started. First, building my first robot, which I got the first as the first prize in GCC countries, and that has been selected as one of the top 100 Arab inventor. After that, I start looking for the for robotics community in the UAE, and it was very challenging to find people who have the same interest and the same thing. So I decided to start my own uh, or started the first robotics club in uh, UAE and and in, in the university. So I still was a student and creating the first robotics club and people start knowing more about the robots club and they start joining the club and from there we started building more robots and participating in many other events of robotics as this, at the same time uh, i was i want to do more i want to do building my own uh, project i want to work in a real life project i want to take uh, one of the government projects so it was very challenging as a student to work in the uh, real project for government. So I decided to start my own company at the same time. So, and it was like a bit, uh, I had got support from, the, from this university and I had got support from the uh, Mohammed bin Rashid establishment to, uh, to support the, my, uh, uh, the company. Now, uh, one of the main, uh, now for students in UAE is, is much easier because now each university, they have their own free zones where they can create their own company inside the, inside the university, which this is allow them to have more opportunity and they can work in a more in a, in a real business. So uh, the government and university, they are supporting the students now to be creative and they can start their own business while they are studying in the university. And this is uh, much easier now. Uh, it was for me, it's like uh, starting in the beginning is very kind of a bit harder, but now for all students, it's very easy to start. Uh, that's amazing. Uh, uh, both of you have shared the inspiring, uh, inspiring stories. Uh, if, I, if I step back and I, I, I uh, I've listened to, listening to your stories, there are a, a lot of elements that you indirectly touched from having a, a purpose, talking about the environment and the impact on society, so social societal impact, uh, and this purpose drives your energy to achieve more. You mentioned achieve more. You mentioned the element of community. So you, you build a club, you want to bring people to, to follow and to be your, your users, right? So you mentioned a number of elements that are inspiring. So I'm very interested, as, as we have both, both you here today, I'm very interested also on the, the other side of, of the equation, right? So uh, we we here talking about uh, uh, developing an ecosystem. Uh, our ecosystem in this region is still not as mature as in other region. And I'm very curious and interested about uh, your perspective because you're representing uh, youth, right? And how do you see the ecosystem uh, or what would you expect from the ecosystem when you come with your energy, your vision, your, your, your idea to, to make an impact, to change the world. So what would you expect to the ecosystem to, to do for you or what, what support you would expect from the ecosystem in order to uh, have your ideas uh, turning into a real sustainable business? Uh, Fatma, maybe you start from, from you. So uh, step number one or rule number one is give them the chance. If you give the chance to youth, you will see amazing uh, achievements out, out of there. So I think me and Muhammad, we didn't reach out to what we have reached today without someone, only just one person who gave, up, gave us that chance and gave us that confidence to start this baby step. 
So uh, rule number one, give them the chance. Awesome. That's a great, uh, that's a great uh, advice. Mohammed, uh, would you add on top of it? I totally agree with Fatma uh, because uh, we need first to get that trust from the, from, from the government or from the business. So uh, I think the, the relation should be between uh, students or from university and the industrial to create that trust and give us a chance to create a new project because a new business need to be tested and need, be, need to be uh, give a chance for students to try it. Then after that, trying that project, we, we'll, as a student or a new entrepreneur, we learn a lot from that experience. And we, we can improve our uh, business model, we can create, uh, improve our project, and we can have the projects ready for production. And we can go, after graduating from the university, we are ready to go to the market, and we compete with the, uh, with the, with the business or the, with the industry. Uh, we need a chance and we need to give it time because any, as I said, as a new business, we need, we need more time to, uh, to improve the product or improve the project until it be uh, a successful, uh, ready project for the production. Uh, this is great feedback from both of you. I'm very curious to go uh, then uh, one step further into understanding, further understanding from your point of view, what needs to happen. Uh, because I agree with you, it's a matter of time and uh, it's a matter of giving a chance, which means you, you allow people to, to even fail or fail fast, but try to do something, right? So, so then what needs to happen in the ecosystem to give this chance? So what, what are, are the current incubation programs not enough or are they really supporting youth in developing your idea beyond the first person that give you, uh, you know, say, hey, uh, go on and do this. Uh, what else needs to happen in order for the ecosystem to to develop and in order for uh, enabling youth in the right way to uh, turn ideas into real uh, profitable businesses? Uh, maybe Fatma, Mohammed, whoever has uh, any any comment on this. Yeah. So to begin with this, uh, we can speak about the mindset. Uh, maybe we can. Uh, not change the mindset, but we can say, modify and do some changes to this. Uh, actually, to be a successful entrepreneur, uh, we have to gain these characteristics of the, the actual entrepreneur. So we have, we can say we have a couple of uh, things that we have to have or acquire, which is ability to comfort self-doubt, uh, to have access accessibility, and to have resilience and willingness. So if we have these points all together, I can say we can be eventually a successful entrepreneur or anything in life that we can be or we want to be. Awesome, so mindset is key. And, it, and it, sh it should start, uh, what I take from you is that mindset should start being uh, taught early on to use in order to have the right uh, approach, the right attitude towards problems, uh, looking into real problems and try to solve them. Um, Mohammed, any any further thoughts? I believe there is a, we should, we should, there is kind of mentoring because a new, a new entrepreneurs, they don't have that uh, experience. So we need, we need somebody who has like a, a experience who can mentor the entrepreneur, to give them the, the better guidance, to correct their plan and to un for them to understand the business. Uh, because sometimes we have a great ideas, but we don't have that market for it, market ready for it. So maybe you, you work on the project or you work on the idea to be, to create that business, or you, you, you just wait for that market to come and then you have, you have a ready, the idea ready for it. So I think it's, mentoring is very uh, need for any entrepreneurs who want to start a new business model. And as as we we are getting to closing our session today, uh, you mentioned mindset. You mentioned mentoring. How much do you think is is this offer today in the ecosystem? And uh, how how easy is for you to access to? Uh, uh, really good mentors and access to uh, uh, skilling and training on mindset today. Do you see it uh, uh, that is already a good uh, at a good level, good offering uh, is easy for youth to access to this, or more things needs to be developed in order to 
um, provide access to mentors and, and, and teach mindset for, for youth? Uh, actually, to start with this, um, in the UAE, uh, nothing is impossible and everything is easy, but it needs us to chase that chances. Uh, we don't need to sit in, the, in our homes and just wait for the chance to come. We have to chase it. Uh, so uh, th thanks God for the UAE and thanks for all of the efforts that uh, uh, it's done and all of the efforts that are going to be done. And 2021 is going to be an awesome chance for us. Awesome. I love the energy and I agree with you. You need to get out of the building, right? You, you, you don't need to wait uh, for opportunity to come. So you need to build uh, build those yourself. Uh, Mohammed, uh, any uh, thoughts on this? I think now it's uh, now it's much easier because there's you can see a lot of online courses started and we have a lot of access to the internet and uh, courses like uh, Udacity or Kyocera or And from there, you can learn a lot of skills and you improve your skills and also, you can find the experience and you, you can meet with the people who have the same interest where you can have, maybe you build a network and you can uh, communicate with them and you, you share the knowledge. I, I believe if, if you start sharing your experience, you're sharing your knowledge, that will help you. Uh, don't keep uh, the idea just for you. Maybe you have an, uh, an idea, you can share it. You get the feedback. Uh, it helps you to to reshape your project and your idea. And I think that also will, uh, we have, will, will help you to improve the business. Awesome. Uh, one final question, very a final quick question for both of you. Uh, say you have uh, the possibility to, to change something, to implement something new. What would you implement? What would you change to empower youth more in 2021? Um, whoever is well, uh, first, yeah. <laughs> knowledge sharing and open a free courses for everyone and uh, don't keep the idea with you for you, keep it separate there. And I really support and totally agree with the open source. You just open source what you have and, and this is just, not, it will help you to improve your project and will uh, make your, your project, you can, you can separate or you can spread the, the project all around the globe and you can see it uh, all around the world they are using it and they are improving it and that will also sustain uh, your project awesome um fatma uh, i think according to me it's a bit a challenging question but what i can say um, uh, i want the world to be a better place for us in all of these aspects so uh, if anyone is listening to me now, there is engineers, there is doctors, there is, there is a lot of uh, fields. So make the world a better place to you and your, in your field and follow your passion. So what I want to, in the, in the end, like uh, following your passion is the thing that will lead you to that success that you want. Awesome. I love your energy, guys. Um, uh, so uh, we are wrapping up and closing uh, the, the session. So um, uh, thank you for sharing your insights, your experience, uh, uh, you know, uh, and the more we share and give visibility to stories like yours in the region to inspire more uh, of the youth to, to, to be more entrepreneurial in what they do, even if uh, not everyone will become uh, a founder or an entrepreneur, right? But it's, it's very important. So uh, keep it up. I wish you the best of luck for for your ventures, for your ideas to, to make them happen and to have an impact. And thank you for sharing uh, uh, your stories uh, with, with the audience today. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.